Hello, welcome. Um, we're not getting started yet, but but I just wanted to say um, if you've got any questions before starting, just pop them down below or give me a wave if you've just joined. Uh, we'll get started soon. So I'm doing a little introduction. So I'm Claire. Um, I'm a physical activity instructor and personal trainer for MMU Sport. My sessions will be every Thursday at 12 p.m. same time, um, and it'll be focusing on full body workouts, so all the major muscle groups that we use in day to day life. And it's going to focus on strengthening the muscles. It'll build your endurance, um, really good energy booster and mood booster as well. It'll also help for those of you that are worrying about university deadlines. Hello. Um, for those of you that are worrying about university deadlines, it's really, really good just to kind of relax you and um, improve your quality of sleep. So uh, today, uh, we'll be going through a warm up. We'll do three rounds of 10 reps. There's only six exercises, and it's just to loosen your joints, warm the muscles up, and yeah, just get us prepared for exercises. Um, then for the main session, hello Fiona, hello Jake, give us a wave everybody, if you've got any questions let me know. So for the main session, for the main session we're going through five exercises, um, we'll do 30 seconds on and then 30 seconds off and then we'll do some nice cool down stretches and get us back to normal. Hello Colette, it's very very good to see you here. So you're taking a break, a break from Joe Wicks. Hi Lou. Okay, I hope everybody's ready. Um, this is perfect for beginners. Well, most of the exercises will be body weight, but you can add some household weighted equipment in as well. So I've got my bottles of Alpro milk. Um, they're only a litre, so it's only a kg. Um, or you can use tins of beans. If you want something a bit more heavier, you can use a rucksack full of all your uni books. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start putting the music up. If the music is too loud or too low, just let me know. Hi Hatta, I hope you'll be getting involved today. Okay, so first warm up exercise we're gonna do, you're gonna get in a nice big lunge. So it's a different to a normal lunge. You're gonna take a nice big step forward the aim is to open this hip flexor. So you're going to go forward, do three pulses, three, back up with the other leg. So again, we're doing 10 reps. So we'll do five reps on each leg. Again, this is just going to warm up. Engage your abs, warm up your abs as well as your legs. So we're on our four. Last one. Nice and easy. Start off with large arm circles. If you don't have the space, you can uh, reduce the, uh, the circle or you can bring your wrists in. So we'll do 10 back and then 10 forward. Eight, nine, 10, let's go forward. Again, this is just gonna warm up your rotator cuff and your deltoid. Nine, 10, perfect. Arms, 90 degrees, you're just gonna go up. If you wanna warm up your legs a bit more, you can come down into a squat. Form over speed on this one as it's just a warm up. Keep going, three more, one, two, three, horizontal, bring your arms in, you can clap if you want, and the aim of this is to warm up your chest, so as you bring them in, really, really five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
nine, ten. Hello, Mullet. High knees. So again, if you're a beginner, you can just step them. Or if you are more advanced, and we'll do this for ten seconds rather than ten steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Straight in to our butt kicks. Ready? Ten seconds. Go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get a drink. If you've not got a towel, get a towel. You'll probably need it. Uh, you should feel a bit out of breath <laughs> um, or a bit energized. You should feel very warm. If you need to, open a window. Okay. So, ready to go again? Okay. Ready? We're starting off with our hip flexor lunge. So, nice big step back or step forward. Three pulses for 10 reps. Let us know how you're feeling. Okay, to our shoulder press. You can squat with, with it if you want as well, just for an extra leg warm up. So on this one, you want your hip square, shoulder, feet shoulder width apart. Try and keep a straight back. If you're hunching over, bring your chest forward. Okay? Let's just do five more. One, two, last one. Beautiful. Okay, straight into our horizontal clocks. Keep going, five left. About ten seconds. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. Straight into your butt kicks. Ten. Three, two, one. Awesome. Get another drink. Should be feeling a lot warmer now. Say hello, give me a wave, don't be shy. How is everyone feeling? I've got one more round of that. Ready? Okay, hip flex lunge, big step back, three pulses. This is the last round of warm up and then we'll get on to the main session so you're not going all the way up you're just pulsing it this is really really good for your hip flexor if you've been sat down all day they'll be really tight so this is just a good stretch to get used to every day as well last one Hello, Billy. 
<laughs> Hi Hatta. I hope you are doing this. I hope you are enjoying it. Okay, five left arm circles. Three, two, going forward. Three more. Three, two, one. Shoulder press. Your heels should not be coming off the ground with your squat. Five more, four, three, two, one. Into your claps. Really, really engage that chest. Because it will need to be warmed up for this session. I've got planned. Five more. Two more. You might feel this on your shoulders as well, especially after the arm circles. Okay, high knees. Ten seconds. Go. One. Ten. Straight into your butt kick. One, perfect. Get a drink, we'll have a 30 second rest just before uh, we start the main session. <sighs> oh, <laughs> thanks for that Molly. You have to get ready, get in your gym gear next time and have a practice. I promise you'll love it. You'll feel so much better after. And it's in your work break, so. For those of you that are taking a break at work, uh, this session is only 40 minutes long, so you will have some time after. Okay, so we're gonna start with the main session. First exercise is a burpee. If you've never done a burpee before, it looks kind of like this. So you're gonna go down, step back, and come back up, okay? So that, again, if you can see me, put my hands on the floor, stepping back, bum isn't high, bum's long, core's engaged, step back up, reach in the air. If you want a more advanced version, you can do a proper burpee, you jump back, jump, and jump, okay? Okay. Are we ready for 30 seconds? Start in. Now, go. This is a perfect full body exercise. It's gonna hit your legs, your glutes, your chest, your core, your shoulders, your arms. We're doing it first to get the hard bit out of the way. Okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Have a rest. Beginner and intermediate, you can practice the steps and then do the jumps. So you can do half of each. Okay, get a drink. The next exercise is going to be an inchworm. So, I want you to walk it down, hold at the bottom, walk it back up. Go, get straight into it. If you need to bend your knees, then you can. If your hamstrings hurting, just bend their knees and crawl it out. Keep going. Want you to pause for a second at the bottom. Really hit the abs. Three, two, one. Have another break. Hope everyone is feeling energized. So we've got mountain climbers next. A lot of you might already know how to do them. But if not, you're gonna come down to your mat. Not yet. You come, come down to your mat. You can either step 
or you can run. Ready? Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds. Control your breathing. This will help you so much. Halfway. So if you want to step or switch to the sprint, you can. Three, two, one. And rest. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Mev, you got this. I promise this is the first one. So I'd start with the easier movements, the stepping rather than the jumping. But I promise in a couple of weeks, the more you do it will get easier. Whew. So, this is where you get your weights for this next one. All we're going to do, squat, curl. So you're going to curl when you're at the bottom. Ready? Go. Again, nice square hip. Breathe. So inhale as you go down. Exhale as you go up. <laughs> Come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest for 30 seconds. And then we'll move on to our last exercise, which is a push up. Um, the most easiest way to do a push-up is probably against the wall. So you want your hand in line with your chest as you go on the wall. If you can see, then you're gonna push in and push out. You'll need to all e stance as well. Ready? If not, you can do them on your knees. Three, two, one, go. If you are on the ground, have your Hand underneath your shoulder. Tuck your elbows back as you go down. If it's hurting your shoulders, alternate your form. Try and keep them hips square. Engage your abs. Rest. Okay, so that was the first round. It's not too bad. Once you get into it, I feel like the warm up definitely helped us get everything moving. Okay. So we'll start off with our burpees. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. So down, legs out, legs in, and up. Hard away, jump out, jump in. Jump up. Watch for the the light. If you've got quite a low one. In our second round now, so try and pick up the intensity if you can. Three, two, one. <laughs> Lou, I hope your mum is feeling all right. I hope she's up up for it. Yeah, against the wall push-up is perfect if you're starting out. Um, again, if you feel it on your shoulders, it shouldn't really hurt your shoulders that much. You feel it on your chest. Okay, next one. Inchworm. This time we're going to add a tap. Three, two, one, go. Walk it out. Tap, tap. Walk it back up. Again, if your hamstrings are really tight, then... I want you to slight bend in your knees. So, walk it out. Tap, tap, walk back up. You can't really see, but walk it out. Tap, tap, back up. Three, two, one. And rest. Well done. Okay. Next one is our mountain climbers. Um, I'll let you know when we're halfway. So, if you step in it, you can do half steps, half sprints. <sighs> okay, are we ready? 
Mountain climbers. In three, two, one, go. Bums down, core engaged. Halfway. So I feel you get a better, a better engagement in your core when you stop it. If you really crunch it. Three, two, one. And rest. Literally halfway through now. How are we feeling? Okay, good. Next one. Squat and bicep. Get your weights. Shoulder width apart. Or if you want to hit that inner thigh, sumo squat. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. So squat and curl. Glad you're all feeling good. A bit of bant in the comments. Okay, next. Last one for the second round. Push up. You can do it on the wall or on your knees. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Don't let that bum drop. That's why you're engaging your abs. So you want your hips straight. You should feel it in your chest. Three, two, one, and rest. You're doing really well. Especially if you were doing the more advanced stuff throughout. I know some of you will be like Colette. Absolute machine does Joe Wicks every day. <laughs> so, but if you're not, even if you're totally new to it, anything, a good workout is better than no workout. Okay, so, burpees. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> Control that breathing. When you go down, boom down. No bums in the air on this one. Keep going. Five, three, two, one. And rest. If you are proper out of breath, deep, slow breaths. Okay, next one is our inchworm. So we're going down, stepping it out and tapping. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go ahead. Step it out, tap, tap, back up. Tap it out, tap your shoulder and back up. Keep going. Try and pick up the pace with this one. You get to the top, engage their glutes. Three, two, one. Rest. So this is our last round. Three more exercises. Now we're done. Might add in one more exercise after the round for a little challenge. 
Okay, next one, mountain climbers. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Keep going. Coming up to halfway. Halfway. Do not sprint. Just gonna bring it over 
to the side, other leg straight, try and keep your upper back on the mat, don't worry if you can't touch the floor with your knee, okay switch sides, make sure you've got enough room, we'll just hold these between your head, two, one, back up, with one leg straight, you're going to bring the other leg, your knee to your chest, and switch to the other side, so this is a really good stretch for your hamstring, your glutes, and possibly your lower back as well, depending on how far you can stretch it. Two, one. Okay, next one, same, as similar to the first one, knee bent, other heel is gonna go on that bent knee, and you're gonna bring this leg forward. So all this is gonna stretch. If you suffer from lower back problems, this is a really, really good stretch because it's gonna stretch out your piriformis, which is your lower back. Um, so sometimes if you sat down a lot, a nerve can get trapped. So this stretch will just open it all up. Okay, switch sides. Bent leg, heel on the knee, and just elevate that leg. Again, don't worry if you're not, if you can only get it to here, but you can feel it. That's totally fine. Every time you do them, your flexibility will increase. So don't worry. Three, two, one. Okay, come up to seated. Legs out in front of you and you're just gonna lean over and touch your toes. And do. should feel this also on your lower back, your upper back, and your calves, and your hamstrings. It's a really, really good stretch. Okay, now I want you to put a bent leg in between. Stretch that leg as far out and as comfortable as possible. And you're just gonna slightly lean into it. stretch for your chest you might feel it in your biceps as well if you can just go as far back as you can or you can just bring your back back okay three more seconds three two one all the way in front I'm so glad people have enjoyed it Especially if you need to work now, it can be quite scary starting your first one. So I'm really glad you have tried it. Again, tune in every Thursday. Go to the other ones as well. Jack, Fiona and Tommy have some really, really good high intensity workouts. And if you do all of them, it'll give you quite a balanced and rounded fitness. Okay, so the next one, I'm just gonna hold your foot, feel the stretch in your quad. We'll test your balance as well. Three, two, one. Again, if you've got any questions, feel free to comment, um, or you can DM us or comment on previous posts or anything, but we'll always get back to you. Even if we don't know the answer now, we'll go and find the information and still get back to you. So anything at all, just ask. Um, another one for the hamstrings, you're just going to touch your toes. Your hamstrings are really, really tight. Slight bend in your knees, just so you're protecting them ligaments and them joints. Okay, 
Okay, next one, the shoulder and the tricep. You want your elbow in line with your shoulder and your wrist. So instead of like this, you want to be like this. It's going to stretch both. If you just like that, it'll stretch your tricep only. We've worked a lot of shoulders today, so. Yeah, next week, um, it'll be a bit more intense. I'll, there'll be loads of new exercises. Um, and this is just a nice little introduction. Okay, elbow up. You don't want to be dragging it down. You just want to have it there so you feel a nice stretch. Let me know how are you feeling after that? Who did you do it with? Did you do it with your pet? Or did you do it with your family? Or did you just do it by yourself? Did you use weights or did you not bother? Let us know any feedback whatsoever. <laughs> Ro, you should be in it. Next week, 12 p.m. I want you to join. Okay, so I'll be here for another five minutes answering anyone's questions or if you need anything at all. Like I said before, um, this video will be on YouTube. Thank you Hatta, so glad you enjoyed it. No worries Mev, hopefully see you next Thursday as well. We'll get strong, we'll get hench and we'll get fit. I hope everyone's feeling so much better. Myself, I woke up not feeling great, but after that I feel really energised, really positive and ready to get on with the rest of my day. Oh, Colette, thank you. Nice one, Fiona. Whew. Oh, that's awesome, thank you. I'm so glad you've enjoyed it. Is there anyone here from my usual body tone class that I do at Brooks? <sighs> that's good if you weren't sweating. That's where you're going wrong. Sweat is good. Awesome. Thank you, Colette. Yeah, see you next week again. If you need anything, just let me know. Yeah, the Stay Home, Stay Active program that MMU Sports have launched, it's really, really great. And it's not just for students either, it's for absolutely everyone and anyone that wants to get involved and work on themselves fitness-wise or mentally-wise. Like, it's really, really good and it's really fun connecting with you guys and seeing how you are feeling during the workout. It just kind of normalises everything. It can send you a bit crazy being inside all day and only going out for one walk. But yeah, keep keep it up. Oh, Rowan, thank you. I'm red, I'm sweaty, but I'll take that. But yeah, next Thursday. Again, if you've got any questions, um, I will be in a minute or so. But if you've got any questions at all, just feel free. To DM MMU Sport or email us um, at sport at mmu.ac.uk or just comment on posts and yeah, just bug us. But yeah, yes, Lou, literally in a month we'll all feel so much fitter. This workout, if you do it again in a month, oh, it'll be a breeze, it'll be so easy. But yeah, um, tune in to next Thursday and also check out the timetable and go to some others. Um, really really hard especially the hit classes um but again it'll make you feel so much easier it'll make these sessions feel so much easier and it'll make you feel so much better but yeah so again if you've got any questions email us comment or dm and yeah hopefully i'll see you all next thursday thank you for joining stay fit and stay home and stay active bye